Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. So if you watched the last vlog, I had a little rant going on. I'm basically in a mental funk right now because of, I don't know. I just feel like I'm in my flop era on social media and it really gives me anxiety. It really freaks me out because this is my job and I make all of my income through TikTok. My TikTok is completely flopping right now and it's making me like spiral to no end. So I'm going to try to take a break from social media for like a week take a little step back for my mental that does not include like the vlogs and stuff youtube does not mentally destroy me the way that instagram and tiktok does so <laughs> we're good on youtube we're good with the vlogs and the two cents me and tori are actually filming a two cents episode tomorrow but prior to me starting to spiral i did plan on dyeing my hair I went to Sally's, the Sally's bag is on the stairs. I don't know if you can see it. I did find a new formula on TikTok that I'm so excited to try. So that's what we're about to do now. I'm hoping that refreshing my hair is going to help me come out of my shell. We're still gonna take a break from social media. Even if I feel better, we're gonna take a little break because I just need to. But I feel like refreshing your hair, whether you're getting it done professionally or doing it yourself or like getting a haircut or something, just really does something for the spirit and the soul, you know? So that's what we're gonna go do now. I'm so excited. So let's. Go Go do that my hair is disgusting it's ready to be dyed and it's ready to be washed look i'm still pending at harvard and i was just wondering if oh, it looks cute like already that. i'm gonna watch it <laughs> watch the trailer what do you want it looks cute i'm watching it i can tell by the acting i was like what kind of disney is this gonna be what level there's different levels okay let me move this for a second so i can talk to y'all vic scared the ever-loving shit out of me in my head he wasn't gonna be home for the rest of the day i'm up here i changed into like black clothes i don't care about right so i'm gonna dye my hair and i got my towels i always put down these towels that i don't care about so that i don't stain because we have like white carpet things so i always put down this towel because it's dark and then i got this one in pr that's like perfect because it like goes across my counter so that i don't stain the counter and stuff so i was doing that right i i had already changed and i heard these heavy ass footsteps the only people here are me and luna and when luna runs up you can hear like her little tiny like footsteps like i literally stopped like this and all these thoughts went through my head in like a matter of three seconds i was like those aren't luna's footsteps vic is not home those are heavy man footsteps literally my heart stopped and i was like who and i heard him coming down the hall i'm about to be murdered who's in my house and who's like whose figure and face i'm about to see come around this corner in my head it wasn't gonna be vic it was vic and i was like what the fuck why are you say anything i didn't hear the garage door open and usually like in our whole house you can hear the garage door open like the rumbling because we don't have a big house i didn't hear our squeaky ass we have a very squeaky garage door like from the garage into the house so we could always hear it from like everywhere didn't hear that my heart literally stopped i always say if i get murdered make sure i'm on bailey sarian's youtube channel as a series so after that happened i said if i got murdered what were you gonna do he was like make sure you're on bailey sarian's youtube and i was like exactly but anyways i'm like sweating from that still but i'm all prepared to dye my hair i've got the ipad i'm gonna watch this new movie on disney channel on the disney app and then i've got my two mixing bowls hair clips and all the things and then from sally's i don't remember if i showed this in the vlog where i actually bought this stuff but i'm gonna be mixing 40 and 10 developer then for the color this is what we're doing half a bottle of 6rv and half a bottle of 6r full bottle of rv i'm not a professional okay i'm just telling you what i'm doing <laughs> i'm not teaching you i'm just telling you what i'm gonna be doing i'll pop up a picture of the girl whose tiktok i found who convinced me to get this formula i'll show you her hair here so that you can see what i'm going for Will it end up like that? Who knows? So let me mix this really quick. I'm also filming it for TikTok. I just told y'all I was gonna like take a little break from social media, which I am. So I am gonna film this for TikTok, but I'm not gonna post it for like a week. Be right back. Let me mix everything. Cause I gotta like do math and stuff and like proportions and science. Okay, I mixed everything together and it's looking very orange. Okay, so this is the hair currently. Hopefully you guys can see the color. This is what it looks like. Let's do this. Wish me luck. Where you been and where you hiding? I know you're lying. Don't you try it no. You really shouldn't play. I would just like to say that this is not a Disney movie. First thing that was a clue was one of the girls said dumbass, and I was like, pretty sure you can't say that on Disney Channel. And then right now they're talking about peas in V's. You get what I'm saying? Peas in V's. 
That's what they're talking about. And I'm like, this is not a Disney movie. Like, yes, it's a Disney, it's on the Disney app. It's like a Disney original. They must be dropping movies that like, like how Netflix has Netflix originals like that, but it's not like a Disney, it's not a Disney channel movie. You know what I'm saying? It's good, I like it. Put it out with water, but now you're drowning. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying. It's the next day and my hair did not turn out how I wanted to at all. I'm gonna take it out and show you, but I just finished my makeup because Tori's coming over. Well, she's supposed to be coming over in 30 minutes, but knowing her, it'll probably be like an hour or two. But I just did my makeup because we're gonna film a two cents episode. And guys, look at my hair. It's so dark. I don't know what happened. My math wasn't mathy. I'm just not ready to go back to dark hair yet. Like I feel like at one point I will, but I'm not there yet. You know, I'm still playing around with the red and having fun with the reds. So although this looks pretty, I think it looks pretty. It's like a, it's like a cherry red. I do want lighter, like more of like the copper. Again, look at the photo of the girl who's, I use the exact same formula. How sway? How? I don't understand what went wrong. What I'm gonna do is dye it again in this vlog. Me and Tori are gonna film. Um, I was gonna, like my crazy self, as soon as I could tell last night that it wasn't what I wanted, I was already trying to come up with a plan of how to fix it before we filmed. That wasn't gonna happen. Cause so for, I was like, I can just wake up early and like do it again. Go to Sally's new plan and like get it done before we film. But no, Tori wants to film at noon, even though I doubt she'll be here at noon. <laughs> in my head still, when she tells me noon, I'm gonna, shoot for noon and i look to see what time sally's open and they don't open till 10. so i don't want to style my hair because that would require putting heat on it just for me to re-dye it rewash it put heat on it again so for today's episode i'm just gonna do like some kind of slick down bun and not heat style my hair and then after we're done filming me and tori already plan on going to sephora because we both need some things from sephora and so i texted her like can we also hit sally's after the plan is going to be different for round two i'm going to do a bleach bath Okay, I'm all ready, and this is the hair and the makeup. I think it looks really good. Once I did my hair, let me see, I need better lighting. Once I put my hair back, I was like, ooh, it looks good this color, but I still wanted the other color that I originally wanted. For like five seconds, I was like, maybe I'll leave it like this. And I was going back and forth in my head like, no, let me still dye it. And I was like, no, let me just leave it. But I think I've concluded on, I still wanna change it to the color I actually want. So still gonna dye it, but it's 12.58, so one o'clock. Tori's still not here, which we predicted. She said, guys, I think what gets me too, it wouldn't annoy me if she was just always, you know, I, that's a lie. It, it annoys me when people are late. But what's more annoying, she's on time to like, she's a makeup artist. So when she has to do a client or a wedding or something, she's not late for those things. So she's only late when it's like, I guess something in her head that isn't as important, which is like, that's what, that's why I take it personal. I'm like, you're not late to makeup gigs. She texted me, my allergies have gotten so bad. I took half a Benadryl, so we're gonna see if I get tired while we're filming, but. She texted me at 11.47 and said, good morning, getting ready. <laughs> Mind you, she's the one that said 12. I said, what time do you wanna film? She said 12. At 11.47, so 10 minutes before 12, she said, getting ready, I'll be over soon. She said later than 12 on the dot, but soon. It's 1.02. So we're still waiting, but hopefully she's here soon. She has arrived. It is 1.08. So she was only an hour and 10 minutes late. Sister, say hi to the vlog. Hi. Show me new hair. Look at Tori's new hair. It looks amazing. It's Wait, ready. come, come stand right here. It's so good. We're both redheads now. Sister, I love I have it. To, sister, no, I have to, I, I have to re-dye it. Yeah, it I got dark. dark. Okay, we're gonna film. We'll see you when we go to Thank Sephora. You. Um. Okay, so we have no one to blame but Tori. Ah! <laughs> because I said, before we go, make sure to remind me to vlog in Sally's and in Sephora. We did not. But I'm gonna show you everything we got. We're about to do my hair right now. Oh, so from... Fun. Huh? I think it's we're having so much fun. I know. From Sally's, we got 
20 volume developer. Extra strength powder, lightener, bleach. Cause we're gonna do the bleach bath. And then these are the colors we got. We're going with a new formula. Some are for the roots, some are for the white. Yeah, but we got 6R, which is six red, red terracotta. 7R, 5RG, which is light auburn, and 7WV, which is nutmeg. Honestly, I have no clue how it's gonna go. It's gonna be good. And then from Sephora, did you get my cell? Yeah, I got it. Thank okay, you. here's what I got. I got a Huda Beauty pound cake translucent powder. I got a travel size one for when I go to Japan and Korea. I also got the one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray that's going viral on TikTok right now. This is like no transfer. That's what the girls are saying. The girls are going swimming with this on. One thou out. I, would, I would yes. swear by it. I got the Rare Beauty. I gotta sneeze. It didn't come out. I got the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blush in the color gray. She's stunning and gorgeous. That one's pretty. I know, I'm so excited. The packaging is so cute. You know she made that packaging because yes. she has lupus, so it's like it's easier easy. to open. I was like, that's blessed, that's amazing. I love that. And it is easier to open, like genuinely. I agree. We both got one of the Rare Beauty bronzer stick that everyone's talking about on TikTok, and it's stunning. The formula is, when I say butter, oh my God, the packaging. Right? It's so, so pretty. pretty. I don't know if it's gonna focus. This is what it looks like. I got the shade Good Energy. I also wanted to try the Refi Clear Brow Sculpt. Right now I use the Got To Be one and I like it. It's the only one that gets my brows to stay like slicked and like pushed up because I have very stubborn like straight Asian brows. I've tried all the other ones that are like viral for like making your brows stay in place. None of them work except the got to be. The only reason I don't love the got to be thing, it gets white. It gets white and like crusty. Yeah. Because it's like, the, I put it in my brows, it's like the gel. It's like gel, like, so it's, it's literally like, hard. like the, yeah. Yeah, so I just gel. don't like how it does, how it has like the white stuff on it. I've seen a lot of refi reviews on the brow sculpt. I don't know, it's hard to tell because a lot of times it's not like a black or Asian person. Yeah. So like, it looks like it works really well, but I, I won't know until I try it. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted on this. And then last but not least, I saw this um, lip liner on TikTok and I felt like I needed it. It's the Makeup Forever Endless Cacao color and it's like a cool brown because the one I always use is the Mented Lip Liner in Dope and I love it. However, it's very, very warm undertone. So now I have one that's more cool undertone. So that's all I got. I got two, four, I got six products and I spent a hundred and like seven. Not be it. Not bad. But now we're about to dye my hair and experiment doing that. I won't be able. I'll insert clips from my TikTok video okay, and we'll give you updates along the way. That's the plan. Okay, we finished applying the beach beach wash, bleach wash, the powder bleach, the developer, and shampoo. It's lightening a little bit. We're gonna let this sit for another like 10, 11 minutes. Then we'll wash it out and then we'll do the color. Okay, so we like mixed a bunch of things up. We had one formula for my roots and one for the ends. So we'll see how it turns out, but this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can even tell. I don't know, based, based on the way the color looked when we were applying it, we think it's exactly what I was going for, but you never know until you wash it out and you also don't know until it's dry. If this doesn't work, I'm not doing this shit a third time. So like, it just has to come out okay remember when i said i would not be dying my hair a third time specifically i believe i said i will not do this shit again well we're doing it again <laughs> It has been some days. I last dyed my hair, like when me and Troy were dyeing my hair, that was Thursday. It is now Monday, so some days have passed and a lot of processing has gone on in my head. The color, okay, 
The plan me and Tori had did not go as planned. So my hair had like a line of demarcation from just previously dyeing it from when I did that, like back when I did the high lift and stuff. So like this much of my roots was like a little bit lighter from when I dyed my hair accidentally darker. We only bleach washed like the darker half because we wanted to just lift that a little bit and it lifted however now it's the opposite now my roots like this much are mag dark and then the part that we bleach wash is too light but we thought it would even out with the colors that we put on top that didn't happen i'm gonna show you my hair in a second you can probably see a little bit right now and right here like it looks not bad like the color it's giving brown, coppery, reddish vibes, but you'll see in a second when I take it down, you're gonna gasp. It's not cute at all. So then after that, I don't know why my head went straight to a door color, specifically because the colors that a door has is what I'm looking for. So I had purchased copper brown and Cajun spice. I even, <laughs> swatch them on a paper towel to see what I was working with. So this is copper brown and it's quite dark, okay? It's very purple red and it's very dark. And then this is Cajun Spice, which is a brown, a nice pretty brown orange, but it's too orange. So then I mixed these two over here to see what it would look like if I mixed it. So this was the color that I was thinking, but maybe adding a little bit more in this so it was a little bit darker i don't know at this point i was so confused of what i wanted because of like all these trials and errors because on one hand i was like am i trying to get my hair to what it was the very first time i dyed it which was like a deep chocolate red or was i trying to do more of like the orange brown. I'd be happy with both to be honest. I decided that I'm shooting for the orange brown that has like a dash of red, but more of like the, the dark orange brown. So then when I figured out like what I actually wanted, I was like, you know what? I don't know why I went and got the Adore colors. These are semi-permanent dyes, which means they're not gonna last that long. Like they're gonna wash out. And I'm like, listen, I've dyed my hair three times in fucking seven days. If I end up liking this with these colors, I'm gonna have to do it again like very soon and then again and again and again I'm not doing that shit I want permanent color so I went to the gym this morning and then what did I do I drove my little butt back to Sally's for the third time and we got some stuff so today's plan scares me it could be the wrong approach again so when I say it try not to scream like no don't do that I, it's happening my plan is to bleach wash my hair again, but all of my hair. And I'm gonna start with the chunk at the roots that's darker, okay? And I'm gonna use a low volume cause I don't need it to lift that much. And then apply it to the ends just to like strip all the color out so I can kind of start fresh. Even though I could just leave the roots as it is cause I don't hate the color of the roots and just re-dye the light ends. That color's gonna fade, okay? So the parts that are bleached are gonna fade over time just because that's what happens, it fades over time. And then that line of demarcation is gonna be there. Every time it fades, it's gonna be there and I'm gonna scream. I would rather bleach wash my hair all again, try to make it as even as possible, and then go in with the same color on all my hair. And that formula is gonna be some sort of mix of a dash of the 6R that I already have, some of the 7WV, which is nutmeg, 5WV cinnamon, but then I also got 5N. Now and is neutral. So I got a level five light brown. Cause a lot of the colors I've seen that I'm obsessed with on TikTok are Shades EQ, right? Shades EQ is a line of color that's for professionals. So I can't get that because I don't have a license. So I can't go to like Cosmoprof and get Shades EQ or whatever. But if you look at the Shades EQ chart, a lot of the formulas I saw that ended up being the color I wanted was level five, level six, level seven, like that range. But they were all in their copper brown line. So Shades EQ has a specific line that is copper brown. Wella and all the other colors that you see at Sally's, there's no category of copper brown, okay? You have your blondes, browns, reds, cools, blues, all that. So you kind of have to create the copper brown yourself. So that's what I'm gonna try to fucking do, okay? I'm so over at this point. Third time's the charm, question mark. Please Lord, just help me get there, okay? So I wasted my money on the Adore. We're not using these at all. And yeah, so let's, let's, let's get started. Okay, I'm in the bathroom, I'm prepared. I've got my towels back down. I mixed up my bleach wash. 
I'm gonna watch Burlesque, one of my favorite movies of all time. And let me show you guys my hair before we get started. Like, it's, I swear, it looks decent in this bun, like kind of cute. Okay, this is what we're working with. Like, you see what I mean? Look at that, you see that? It's just not good, okay? This is giving clown. The plan right now, first step, bleach wash the roots first, let that sit for like a sec, and then put it on the rest just to try to make an even base. I'm terrified. Okay, done with all of my hair. You can definitely see that my roots are getting bright, which is fine. I also decided to do my brows just so I can dye them like more of a brown red. But this is what we're working with. It's definitely lifting. So I'm just gonna let this sit. I just finished. So I'm gonna let it sit for probably like 10 more minutes and then I'm gonna wash it out and then we're gonna do the color. Okay, so I rinsed out the bleach. And this is where we're at. We definitely have brighter roots and everything else, but that's fine because I'm doing like a darker, slightly darker formula for the roots than the ends. I'll put what I did on the screen because I wrote it down. So I'm gonna go into my roots first. That way, when I do the ends and stuff, I can kind of come it through and like blend everything together. But everything else is like, I mean, it's not perfect obviously, but it's pretty even. I just wanted to make sure that line of demarcation was gone and it is. So mission accomplished. I'm not gonna vlog me applying the color because I feel like this whole vlog there's a lot of that so I'm just gonna do it and then the next time you see me will be with the new hair that I am praying is what I want and it looks okay so here we go are y'all ready to see it this is the final result it looks stunning like i love it i think it looks so good i'm obsessed i think this is the change that i was looking for to kind of give me a little umph i am in front of a window so this is completely natural light it's kind of overcast today so it's not i'm not like sitting in sunlight i would think that this is the most authentic like this is how the color looks but then when i'm in my bathroom and stuff and i'm like under harsher lights i feel like the top looks a little bit lighter like yellowish orange instead of like this nice Nice, pretty deep orange red brown so it just depends on the light but this is the hair after all that three times of dyeing it two different times of bleach washing it but honestly for how like yellow my roots were in comparison to the rest and me not being a professional and all of that I feel like it came out pretty dang even I'm kind of obsessed I'm not even gonna lie but let me know what you think of the new hair thank you so much for watching this week's vlog lots of exciting vlogs and videos coming up up and i want to say thank you to everyone who left kind comments on my last vlog i was kind of you know spiraling kind of going through it and you guys left some really encouraging sweet comments so i really appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next vlog bye